Hello everyone, my name is Ujwal and in this video I'll be giving a quick demonstration of how to digitize a polygon with a hole in QGIS. And while I'm doing that, I'll also give some tips that will help you improve your digitizing workflow. So let's get started. So here we are in QGIS 3.16. I've loaded a base map layer. This is nothing but the tile layer with OpenStreetMap data. This is city of Bangalore. And we'll see how we can digitize this particular building. This building consists of two parts. So there's one part here and it's connected to this another part. Though they are two separate buildings, they are part of the same complex. So we need to digitize them together. And one of the parts has a hole in it. So how do we correctly digitize that? The first step is to create an empty layer. We have a polygon layer, which is empty and we're gonna add the feature to it. This is set up as a multi-polygon layer and you'll shortly understand why we need a multi-polygon. So we'll put this layer in digitizing mode and we can use the add polygon feature to digitize the first part. Uh, to understand how polygons work in a GIS, a polygon is consist of multiple rings. A polygon at the least has one outer ring. So most simple polygons that you draw will have one outer ring and that's it. But a polygon can have multiple inner rings and the inner rings are the ones that will give you the holes in the building. So first let's just digitize the, the outer ring from here. So I'm just gonna draw vertices here. And I'm using my left mouse click to add the vertex here. And you can use the center uh, mouse scroll wheel button to uh, zoom in and out. And I'll right click to finish my polygon. So we have the outer ring digitized there. We'll open the layer styling panel and I'll change the transparency to maybe around 50% just so that we can see the hole and it'll help us in digitizing. So now we need to add this hole to it. To add the ring, we need the advanced digitizing toolbar. You can right click anywhere on the toolbar area and enable this advanced digitizing toolbar from here. Uh, we'll use this tool called add ring and this allows us to add a uh, inner ring to this polygon which will create the hole. So I'll choose this tool and then we'll add another ring here. Right, and now we have the polygon with the hole. So this particular polygon has one outer ring and one inner ring. You can have multiple inner rings. So if you have uh, multiple holes, you can just keep adding rings and it'll create those holes for you. So we'll save this. So now we want to add this another part. Now this will be another outer ring which is part of the same geometry. And to do this, we need to uh, have a multi-polygon layer. So we have this multi-polygon layer, and now we'll add another part to this geometry. And that can also be done using this toolbar, which is the add part. So there's a toolbar tool next to it, which is called add part. And we'll, uh, before we can use this tool, you can see this is a warning here that we need to select the feature that we need to add part to. So I'm just gonna use the selection toolbar and click on it. So now uh, we'll be able to add part to this. So we'll draw this polygon and we'll uh, add part to the existing polygon. But you'll notice that this two polygons share a common edge and there's no vertex here that we can snap to. So how do we correctly digitize such uh, polygons? And uh, QGS comes with uh, many options to allow you to digitize uh, the topology correctly. Uh, one option is to use this uh, uh, snapping toolbar. So right click anywhere on the toolbar and enable the snapping toolbar. Uh, if the toolbar is not enabled yet, you can click this button, the magnet icon to enable snapping. The default tolerance are pretty good. I find that they are usually okay, but you can change them uh, for your needs. Uh, there's an option here called enable topological editing. I highly recommend you keep this on whenever you're digitizing. This will allow you to uh, uh, digitize the shared polygon, the shared edges correctly, and you'll not have any topological errors. So we'll keep this on. And uh, next to it, there is another option called avoid overlap. Um, and once we enable this option, this will allow us to draw a polygon and you know, the tool will make sure that the two adjacent polygons, if they have an overlap, it'll remove that and create a common edge. And this is really useful. Uh, it allows to precisely uh, draw polygons, which is otherwise not possible. So let's see how this works. So I've enabled the, the snapping 
topological editing and I've selected the allow uh, avoid overlap. Sorry, I'll, I'll use the avoid overlap on active layer, which will uh, avoid the overlap uh, between the polygons. So now we are ready to add the part to it. So we have the snapping on, so you can see it's snapping to the existing vertex and we'll just keep digitizing this. Now here, instead of just adding, trying to find a vertex which is near here, we can just keep on going and complete the polygon like this. And what this avoid overlap tool will do is it'll just automatically remove the extra part. So now you can see as I right click and complete the polygon, this is digitized correctly. So we can save this and deselect to see our nicely digitized multi-polygon with a whole. Hope you like the video. I'll be posting a lot more QGIS videos from now on. So if you'd like to see them, do subscribe to the channel and hope to hear from you in the comments. Thank you.